What's going on? John Cushoni here with Earthworks uh, here at Atlantic Beach Country Club in Atlantic Beach, Florida. Uh, overcast today, but the sun should come out. So uh, today we're at the Briggs house, uh, Joan and Garrett Briggs, really cool people here. This is one of the biggest houses in here. Um, Garrett and Joan's plans originally were to have a two-story house and they wouldn't let them do it. So they took the front, they took the top and put it over there. So now you got this big old ranch style house. It's really cool. It makes a really dramatic uh, front entrance. You got three garages, big old front door, and a lot of really cool space just to utilize the, the plants and stuff as well. So they have an existing landscape, as you can see. Um, some focal point plants that we're gonna keep. And then the bottom stuff we're gonna transplant and just make it prettier. Give it some better layers. You can see it's kind of green on green on green. And we're gonna give it a pop. Uh, Joan likes some color and stuff. So that's the idea here is to add some color. One of the problems we ran into here with it being an existing landscape is that the weeds and things had grown back in the beds. Um, so you can see this really tight network of weeds and stuff in here that's gonna be hard to get out without taking out all the plants. Uh, agapanthus, foxtails, Consistent through the garden are these weeds and things that are really hard to get rid of. So if you guys are gardening and you're trying to save your plants, make sure when you take them out, the, the, the weeds and stuff aren't still in the root balls because that's just going to go right back into your new garden. So if you can use those plants, great. Uh, if not, just start fresh with something new. So that's the biggest thing here is getting this, this prep day. Everything out, everything that we can use, used, and everything not, we're just going to take back to the nursery and have our staff go through it diligently and, and get it clean. We don't like to throw away plants. Uh, another thing we're going to do is some herbicide applications. So that's going to give us a really good kill on the ground. Uh, a lot of weeds and things pop up now in the winter that you don't have in the summer or the spring. So we want to make sure we get a really good, um, I say, I say eradication. We want to, we want to get them out of here. You know what I'm saying? So that's our maintenance guys. They're really good too. So they're going to be here uh, probably tomorrow knocking that out. And today is a big prep day. Um, these are some stuff that we're going to keep back here. Garrett really likes this privacy on his uh, wall. It's pool equipment. Um, and these big junipers were put in. There's a little cool little swimming pool back behind there. So these are some plants that will stay. But again, we can come in and get a clean slate on the bottom and start fresh and make it look almost brand new. Uh, back here in the back, uh, we're gonna transplant a lot of these grasses away from the porch uh, and get them out here against the golf course to make it look a little bit more native, kind of like we've done in this bed. Um, and then add some color because those are key spots up by the back porch that you want to utilize that. Your view out to the golf course is low profile, but it's like, wow, a lot of color as well. So the grasses would be a really nice backdrop to that. So you see what I'm talking about from the house to the color to the course. It's going to look really sweet after we do this. You might get hit by a golf ball out there. Watch out. <laughs> Um, our maintenance guys are working on transforming this yard too to get it just a lot greener and healthier. Um, we've had a weird winter, so it's kind of hard to do it now, but you can see it's starting to green up here. Uh, this is a celebration Bermuda we use consistently in this neighborhood. Very drought tolerant um, and it looks really, really, really pretty against the course's grass. Um, so really a nice grass for your area if you're looking for something low maintenance. Um, the back up here as well, you can see it's, it's, it's got a lot of things that have died off over the years. Um, so that's an office right there. So we're going to have a lot of nice color right outside that door, uh, but still low profile so they can have their view of the golf course. The, the Briggs house is probably on our list of, gosh, 90 some lots that we've done in Atlantic Beach Country Club right now. Um, the list goes from to new builds, so we come in, do all the paver work and landscape for the builder. And we also do work like after the fact. As you can see, this has been planted for a while. These customers reach out to us and want us to come in after the building's done, after the initial landscape's done. And we come in and change it all up again. So we can always come in, guys, on the back end or on the front end, it does not matter to us. Um, we can work with all kind of HOAs, uh, the city. We work with all the beaches right now. 
all over town as well. Um, so just don't feel like you can't call us or anything, guys. No jobs, no no jobs too big, no jobs too small. Another thing, guys, if you're at the beaches, um, you probably have questions about your percentages. If you want to put down a hardscape, um, if what you can actually use to do that with. I know a lot of times you struggle with parking. Um, but let us know what you're dealing with. Uh, we know all the percentages at the beach. We can contact those people. We know the right people. We know the right leads to follow and all that good stuff. So contact us guys. Let us do some of that, that field work for you. I know it's confusing. I know some people are like, what do I do? Who do I talk to? Just give us a call. Just call Earthworks. Uh, John, myself here, I could be glad to help you. I'm Tim with Earthworks and I personally am doing some lighting for this project. And what we're doing basically is, per plan, we're lighting up the corners of each house to make it uniform. And then we're lighting up the tall palm trees, the lady palms, a couple of path lights, and the walkway to the front door. I could see areas that we could possibly use additional lighting, which they I'm gonna suggest at a later time. Say so like, you know, this oak tree here in this planter bed, the palm tree on the left side of the house as well, since it's uh, an area that people will see coming in and out of this uh, particular section of the subdivision. And I would probably light up in between both sets of windows, just shooting straight up, it'll scathe the wall and catch the soffit. We'll be lighting up this palm tree here. Again, I would add additional lighting to this oak tree here. Over here on the right side of the driveway, I would add additional lighting to this palm tree here to help it again even everything out, make it more equal, and also light up this oak tree as well. I would definitely light up this holly tree. It's a nice shape to it. It looks really nice, illuminated at nighttime. To border their property, Probably this oak tree here. I think I would skip this one right here. And do every other palm tree in this particular area. In this particular area here, I would like to illuminate the wall with some backlighting, one on each side, and kind of have it crossed over to catch the peak of the house. Plus it'll also backlight the uh, lilies that we have here and then again since that'll be lit and it's a white wall it's going to reflect very very well I would skip this palm tree and possibly light up this palm tree as a focal point maybe even this windmill palm as well and this being a planter bed on both sides couple of path lights along the side so they could see where the edge is at at night time. And I would light up this palm tree as well. And this palm tree and this oak tree. And now it'd be all for the enjoyment pretty much of the homeowners themselves. Not the uh, golf course because nobody golfs at night. So a really uh, a neat project where we were able to transplant a lot of the plants and use them in a better display. So they really liked the way it turned out. Just brought in some color and some interesting plants. Just a super simple idea here for color and contrast. You've got that white wall. Uh, just two simple blue podocarpus and a, a gold durantha right there will give you a really nice kind of a wow factor from the street. A lot of curb appeal. In here we're obligated to keep our oaks and things like that so we've got some natural things that stayed. Uh, we did some nice landscape lighting um, and just some really cool uh, varieties of plants. I've got some black dragon cryptomerias in there, some fire witch dianthus you don't see a lot, uh, again the blue podocarpus. So just some really neat plants that make the landscape kind of stand out just in varieties. You know, not, not plants on top of plants on top of plants. Like I said, some really nice landscape lighting that emphasizes the structure of the house and the placement of the plants. Because they had a lot of native stuff that was just grass on top of grass and stuff. So we brought in crinum lilies, drift roses, some transplants, so palms and things were transplanted. Um, and just a fresh look. That's an office, that's Joan's office right there. So now she gets that really cool 
impact of that purple to look out at and still be able to see the golf course. Added a lot of color to the back because you want it to be low profile to keep your view open, but you still want to look out at some color. So you've got some drift roses here that'll grow up and just be a really nice show. I love that coral color. That's really pretty. Uh, the Texas Sage to give us that white because white brings out the rest of your colors and that has a really pretty purple flower. Uh, and this just is some flower beds here with the violas. Um, so those are some really tough annuals for winter. And Joan likes to play in the garden, so those will be some beds that she switches out twice a year. Um, but again, just, just some golf course appeal. Curb appeal out front, golf course appeal in the back. Super clean. Um, we might get hit by a golf ball, so look out. This is a little, a secret little uh, pool, a little spa inside of here. Um, you can see some little dwarf bottle brush. I've got some Mexican sage that'll come up there and just be purple color throughout the whole year. Um, and Joan really likes this little area right here. Um, so this was, you couldn't even see out of this screen to begin with. All the purple plants that were over there were in front of here and it was just a mess. So now it's just a really clean look. We moved some of the shell gingers around and the uh, ligustrums uh, for any future house that's going to be built over here. So they have this screen now, but they have the visibility that they want of the golf course. So guys, if you're, you're seeing this low profile landscape out here and you want some ideas yourself, just comment on the bottom of my video. Let me know. John Cashoni here, Earthworks. Like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, and ask us all the questions you can, please. Thanks again.